हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू एनाटोमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनाटोमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी राइट स्पेशली वी हैव डन एनाटोमी अबाउट फिजियोलॉजी वी आर गोइंग टू डू एंड इन एनाटोमी वी हैव डन सेल्स दैन टिश्यूज एंड टाइप्स ऑफ टिश्यूज ऑर्गन्स system then we have talked about physical management about the bones and types of bones and the total bones numbers classification of bones we have done long bones small bones flat bones irregular bones and schizoid bones after that we had done, done joints there are three kinds of joints immovable joints movable joints and slightly movable joints that we have done and here we have last so here we are going to do it in detail physiology physiology is a branch of human biology human biology ka ye branch hai it studies the different functions of internal organs क्या इसमें स्टडी होती है फंक्शंस ऑफ इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स इट इज अ सब्जेक्ट दैट इम्पार्ट नॉलेज अबाउट वेरिएशंस कोज बाय फंक्शनिंग ऑफ इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स जो वेरिएशंस होता है इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स राइट क्या होता है इससे नॉलेज क्या प्राप्त होता है इट इज़ अ सब्जेक्ट दैट इम्पार्ट्स नॉलेज ये वो सब्जेक्ट है जो नॉलेज देता है हमें वेरिएशंस का जो इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स के फंक्शंस की वजह से जो वेरिएशंस होता है ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज आर परफॉर्म्ड बाय पर्सन इन हिज डेली लाइफ एंड ड्यू टू दीज एक्टिविटीज जो हम एक्टिविटीज डेली लाइफ में परफॉर्म करते हैं उसकी वजह से मैनी चेंजेस टेक प्लेस इन ऑर्गन्स ऑफ द बॉडी काफ़ी चेंजेस बदलाव आते हैं हमारे ऑर्गन्स में द स्टडी ऑफ दीज ऑर्गन्स इज कॉल्ड फिजियोलॉजी और उस चीज़ की स्टडी को फिजियोलॉजी कहा जाता है तो बेसिकली फिजियोलॉजी इज स्टडी ऑफ द इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स एंड द चेंजेस एंड द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स तो ये सारे इसमें स्टडी हो जाएगा और जो भी चेंजेस आएंगे उसमें वो सारा ना सी It is the science which deals with the study of various functions of human body. क्या क्या है human body के functions क्या है इसके इससे deal करता है basically. Like the functioning of respiratory system, respiratory system जो हम सांस लेते हैं उस system का क्या function है blood circulatory system, वुड इज द फंक्शन ऑफ ब्लड सर्कुलेशन जो हमारे शरीर में आता है पंप होकर हार्ट से साफ होकर फिर पूरे शरीर में जाता है देन वुड इज नर्वस सिस्टम फंक्शन ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम जो हमारे नर्व्स हैं ये दिमाग से लेकर सारा जो हमारे जो सिस्टम फैला हुआ है जो हमारे बॉडी को प्रॉपरली चलाता है वो दैन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम जो हम खाना खाते हैं एक्सक्रीशन तक ये कैसे काम करता है स्केलेटल सिस्टम जो हमारा स्केलेटन है शरीर का एंड एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम जो एक्सक्रीट होता है हमारी बॉडी से किस तरह एंड देन मस्कुलर सिस्टम एंड रिप्रोडक्शन सिस्टम हमारे शारीरिक सिस्टम में मस्कुलर और रिप्रोडक्शन जिससे कि बच्चे वगैरह पैदा होते हैं वो तो इन सब की स्टडी होती है इसके अंदर इसके फंक्शंस जो ह्यूमन बॉडी परफॉर्म करता है इसमें वो सारे ऑर्गन सब उन सब की स्टडी होती है कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनाटमी फिजियोलॉजी इन फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड स्पोर्ट्स इसका क्या कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है एनाटोमी का और फिजियोलॉजी का अगर हम फिजिकल एजुकेशन की बात करते हैं तो फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड स्पोर्ट्स प्ले एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन ह्यूमन लाइफ व्हिच लीड्स टू ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन फिजिकल डेवलपमेंट तो होता ही है सोशल और मेंटल डेवलपमेंट भी गेम की वजह से होता है राइट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिविटीज आर परफॉर्म डेली इन द प्ले ग्राउंड बाय द प्लेयर्स रिपीटेड प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दीज स्पोर्ट्स एक्टिविटीज improves the performance of the players as well as that enhances the competence of their body parts and system jab kisi activities ko hum regularly perform karte hain repeat karke perform karte hain to usse us part of the body ki jo 
कंप्यूटर है पावर है वो इन्हेंस होती है और इसी तरह ऑर्गन्स अलग अलग ऑर्गन्स की कंपीटेंसी बढ़ जाती है तो इसके बारे में हम पढ़ते हैं कि क्या क्या इसके बेनिफिट्स हैं एडवांटेजेस हैं और ये कंट्रीब्यूशन कैसे करता है ये तो फर्स्ट वन इज़ द बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ टीचर्स एंड द कोचेस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिविटीज आर परफॉर्म्ड एंड मूवमेंट्स मेड बाय द प्लेयर्स ऑन द प्ले ग्राउंड ड्यूरिंग दर प्रैक्टिस दीज एक्टिविटीज आर डन Owing to the joints and excitements in the muscles, joints को वजह से ये activities और movements produce होती है और excitements को वजह से. Thus, players and teachers must have knowledge of anatomy, anatomy and physiology. इसलिए इनकी बहुत आवश्यक जरूरत है कि इसकी knowledge, anatomy की, parts की और organs के working की knowledge हो. किसको knowledge हो? Coaches को as well as students को. Teachers and coaches as well as students to improve the performance of the players. रेगुलर रिसर्चेस आर बीन मेड इन द फील्ड ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड एज वेल एज बायोलॉजी राइट सो वी वी सी दैट फ्रॉम दोज रिसर्च वी कम टू द कंक्लूजन दैट द गेम्स यू नो फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड गेम्स एंश्योर मैक्सिमम इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द प्लेयर्स daily exercises performed by the players leads to enhanced strength and enhanced function of the ability of the various system to work an increase in the size and functioning of muscles heart and lungs to jab hum koi kaam ko repeatedly karte hain to hamare organs ki bodies ki hearts ki lungs ki muscles ki inki functioning improve hoti hai size ke sath sath तो इससे ये हमें पता लगता है सो so, और ये जानना हमारे लिए ज़रूरी भी है एज ए फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर कि किस किस क्रियाओं से किस किस एक्टिविटीज से इनकी एक्टिविटीज एंड स्ट्रेंथ बढ़ेगी बॉडी पार्ट्स के डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टू इंक्रीज फिजिकल फिटनेस प्लेयर्स मस्ट बी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड कॉम्पिटेंट इट मीन्स देर मस्ट बी कॉर्डिनेशन इन देयर डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स एंड ट्रेड्स लाइक स्पीड स्ट्रेंथ टॉलरेंस एंड फ्लैक्सीबिलिटी अपार्ट फ्राम देयर अपार्ट फ्राम the physical fitness the sports competence of the players depend on the structure and functioning of the body to increase physical fitness to isse kya hota hai in the sab cheezon ke knowledge se repeated performance of function se humme jo players mein strength aati hai speed aata hai tolerance aati hai flexibility aati hai to ye iske liye ye ye in sab ka knowledge hum kahan se milta hai we get it from physical education असिस्टेंस इन चूजिंग द गेम्स इट हेल्प्स इन चूजिंग गेम्स ऑल्सो आपके वेट साइज आपकी अबिलिटी के हिसाब से अलग अलग गेम्स के लिए आप बने होते हैं सो अनाटमी इज अंस दैट हेल्प्स द प्लेयर्स टू चूज दर गेम एज पर दर बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर कीपिंग माइंड द साइज वेट और कैपेसिटी ऑफ द प्लेयर्स बॉडी दे कैन बी सेलेक्टेड फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर गेम द प्लेयर्स हु हैव लॉन्ग लेग्स एंड आर्म्स आर सेलेक्टेड फॉर हैंड बॉल and basketball while the players who have more weight are selected for weight lifting boxing etc then knowledge of the types of injuries from the knowledge of physical education of physiology and anatomy we come to know about various types of injuries also that we can get during the games therefore it is important for the players and teachers to have the knowledge of uh, about the types the cause and treatment of the injuries we have uh, seen certain kind of injuries that a player can have a physical uh, st- performing student physical activities performing students can have these are these are sprain strain pressure running knee tennis elbow hamstring injury ankle injury etc so we come to uh, know about these injuries and how to heal it easily then we have to reduce fatigue fatigue matlab thakavat physical fitness of the players increase with the physical activities but due to physical and chemical transformation the body of the players are exhausted fatigued which increases the amount of lactic acid and decreases the amount of glucose in the body so by taking these uh, uh, diets and supplements and glucose uh, we can reduce the fatigue so uh, this way we get knowledge about uh, different things to increase our physical strength and decrease our physical fatigue 
then we have to prevent injuries during the games the players have to uh, you know have to fall a prey to a lot of energies during the games the different types of safety guard like leg guard shin guard chest guard head and ankle guards etc have been invented to reduce sports energies uh, sports injuries sorry so these injuries can be reduced by uh, you know studying um, uh, these uh, by having the knowledge of anatomy and physiology and this way we can improve the guard also during the games for rehabilitation during games the knowledge of anatomy and physiology play an important role in the instant recognition and treatment of the injuries the players can be prepared for the game by adjusting the position of the spine ligaments tendon and muscles so rehabilitation becomes easy when you have knowledge of physiology and anatomy and how uh, how it can easily be you know healed so rehabilitation become easy then we have to identify individual differences knowledge of anatomy and physiology makes individual understand the various individual differences as per the gender as per the height as per the weight size of the body parts also based on these differences sports equipment safety equipment playgrounds and timings of the games etc are decided so it is helpful in know the individual individual differences also for good health players can keep out their bodies fit and healthy with the knowledge of anatomy and physiology thus uh, players uh, students can make their body disease free and able it to use a minimum energy and give maximum work output so this way these are the benefits of uh, uh, studying physiology and anatomy i'm going to repeat it what are the benefits of and uh, what are the contribution of physiology and anatomy and physical education number one is basic requirements of teachers and coaches to improve the performance of the players to increase the physical fitness uh, to assist in choosing games uh, to know different types of injuries to reduce fatigue to prevent injuries during games for rehabilitation and um, to identify individual differences and also for good health these things are very important knowledge of basic knowledge of physiology and anatomy is important now let's do some textbook questions uh, fill in the blanks a human body is a complex machine so here we will write complex machine different organ of human body collectively run the working system of the body here we will have working system next what is cell cells are the fundamental unit of life we cannot see the cells and cells organs with the naked eye we can see them only with the help of microscope cells store food inside them and produce energy by oxidation of food so this energy is used to perform physical activities so cell is basically the basic unit or the fundamental unit of life then we have what are bones what are uh, details type about the types of bones bones are very important for human body for all the movements all the positions of the body it is very important these bones impart shape to human body right these bones protect the tender organs like heart lungs brains etc of our body the human body is formed by the combination of different bones like long bones small bones flat bones irregular bones and sesamoid bones there are total 20 206 bones in a human body so the bones are of three kinds long bones small bones flat bones irregular bones and sesamoid bones you need to do it in details i have already discussed it in detail in my first video then what are the joints uh, joints are the place where two ends of the bones are joined together or meet together human body moves and performs activities due to the these joints only joints are capable of bearing maximum pressure and weight due to human activities so types of joints Uh, there are three types of joints immovable joints movable joints and slightly movable joints these 
about these I have discussed in detail in my first video you can go through that and now let's do important questions as per examination point of view right so first of all how many facial and skull bones are there in the human body facial and skull bones are 22 in numbers see how many color bones are there in a human body there are two color bones how many leg bones are there in the human body so there are 60 leg bones in a human body 60 how many total bones are there in hum human body and we know that there are 206 uh, total bones in our body and uh, where the long bones are found in human body they are found in arms and legs both a and b both now, where the small bones are found in human body they are found in ankle and wrist as well a and b both then which bones have no fixed size these are irregular bones found right in our body and then which type of joints and of the bones are stuck with each other slightly immovable joints then saddle joints is found in which part of the human body saddle joints saddle joints are found in hands and hinge joint is found in which part of the body it is found in elbow and knee as uh, it doesn't allow it to move to other sides it can bend one on one side but on, on the other side these are not allowed this is due to hinge joints so these were multiple choice questions from the chapter now let's do fill in the blanks small bones are stronger than the long ones that's true then flat bones are made up of combination of two layers spongy bones and compact bones that's true uh, then we have the bones are have no fixed size irregular bones and the physiology is the branch of human biology and then we have physical fitness of the players dash with physical activities improve or increase with the physical fitness physical activities true and false the cells are not the fundamental unit of life wrong cells are the fundamental unit of our body tissues contain 60 to 90 percent water that's true it's my sars and number percent of water with the bones do not play an important role in our body false they play important uh, uh, important role in our body as they give us shape right uh, and movement is possible due to bones only there is no space in these joints and they do not move where there are certain joints uh, and it is also true they are immovable joints there is no space in these joints right and, and then we have both ends of the bones of movable joints have covered with a layer of cartilage yes cartilage ke sath hi hota hai cover right answer true let's do a small uh, short very short answer type question define anatomy anatomy means dissecting the internal organs of human body and studying their structure then we have what do you mean by tissues the group of similar cells is called tissues right what is cell the smallest structure and and the functional unit of human body is called cell or the fundamental unit of human body is called cells define organ system the group of organ is called organ system uh, then we have cells can be seen with which device compound microscope compound microscope from where cells get energy cells get energy by the oxidation of food stored in them how many types of tissues are there in human body four types of tissues then what do you mean by joints joints refer to the position where two or more ends of the bones are joined state the function of the joints joints are capable of bearing maximum pressure and weight due to human activities joints are capable of bearing maximum pressure and weight due to human activities what are the types of joints on the basis of structure and functions 
there are three kinds of joints immovable joints movable joints and slightly movable joints what do you mean by immovable joints immovable jo move na kar sakta ho the joints which do not have any movement are called immovable joint and what do you mean by slightly movable joints the the end of the bones which are stuck with each other and can move slightly there is space between these joints and they have restricted movements right so they are called slightly movable joints define physiology physiology is a branch of human biology that studies the different function of the internal organs of human body keep in mind physiology is that branch of human biology which studies the function of internal organs of human body short answer questions define organ system name the organs so group of cells from tissues a group of tissues from uh, different organs and the, and the group of organs of the similar functioning from a system by combi- combining together is called uh, organ system in in other words system are formed with the combination of different organs of the human body different system of human body are respiratory system blood circulatory system muscular system nervous system res- reproductive reproduction system excretory system different right so these different system perform different function in combination with other system discuss about the flat bones these types of bones are made up of combination of two layers of spongy bones and compact bones these bones are flat and thin the ends ends of these bones are covered with the layer of cartilage these bones are found in ribs sternum and scapula and scapula right then discuss about the small bones these bones are small in size cubed shaped and are of spongy in nature these bones are covered with a layer of connective tissues and these bones are stronger than the long bones which enable these uh, bones to bear maximum weight these bones are found in ankle and wrist what are tissues what are their types tissues are formed from the group of similar cells and when the cells of the same shapes and functioning work together in a group they know, uh, they are known as tissues these tissues contain 60 to 90% water and there are four types of tissues found in human body and these tissues are connective tissues epithelial tissues muscular tissues and nervous tissues given an account of bones present in human body this is long type questions and we have already discussed five types of bones right and you have to write in details these are long bones small bones flat bones irregular bones and sesamoid bones you need to detail discuss it in detail and if you, uh, i have already uh, discussed in detail in the previous video on this chapter what is the contribution of anatomy physiology in physical education and sports right the basic it helps teacher and coaches to understand the the students or the players better it improves the performance of the players it increases the physical fitness of the player it uh, helps in choosing the games it helps in knowing the types of an injuries and it helps in reducing fatigue it also helps in, in preventing injuries during the games and it helps in rehabilitation it also helps in identifying individual differences and uh, for good health it is also very important this i have discussed in detail in, in this video only you can uh, go through on this question in this video in detail right and uh, these were the uh, questions from this this chapter uh, if you have any question if you want to ask anything you can comment to ask till then take care bye bye